How's everybody doing out there today? Happy 4th of July. Hope everybody has a good and safe 4th of July. <clears throat> so the message that I want to talk to everybody about today is not uh, really 4th of July related. Um, but it, it was just something that, that uh, you know, I saw, um, you know, this morning on what I was watching, some motivation that I watched. And even though I've talked about it before in the past, um, you know, I still, I, I think it's very powerful and I think it's worth uh, continuing to talk about. As I said, I'll, I'll repeat a lot of my messages because honestly, uh, that's really how we learn. You know, we don't learn by hearing something one thing, but many times over. Um, so I guess Albert Einstein was actually, how are you doing, Andrea? Thank you. So Albert Einstein was um, known for saying that anybody serious in the pursuit of science, um, they believe that there is a spirit there that is manifest um, in our world. And, and basically, I believe what he's saying is if you actually um, are serious about the pursuit of science and you look at our world, you will realize very quickly that in order for us to have everything that we have, um, in order for us to be able to just walk around um, and be able to breathe this air and the temperature to be just right and for us to have day and night and all these various seasons, um, you know, that, that is not a coincidence. Things have to be, uh, it, it's very, it's extremely, extremely, extremely precise. And that's probably just a, a huge understatement, you know, the atmosphere and how it protects, you know, earth and so forth. So anyways, you know, that's my point is anybody serious in the pursuit of science, you know, Albert Einstein was quoted, um, that there is uh, a, a, a spirit at work, right? And so in this world, there are the, the laws of the universe, right? And these laws are not only physical, but also spiritual. And these spiritual laws have been discussed and talked about by philosophers and ancient mystics for thousands of years, right? This isn't some new thing that we just came up with. They've, they've been discussed for thousands of years by people. They've been recognized and they've been discussed and so it's, it's one of the spiritual laws that I actually want to talk to you about today. Carrie, how are you doing? And it's actually, it's a very simple law. But if you focus on it and you spend enough time on it, you can change the course of your life. You can control the course of your life. Um, and it was, uh, there was, let's see, it was a... There was a quote from William Golding that the greatest laws are the simple ones. So this simple law is believed to be overlooked by so many people because of its simplicity. And so one of the biggest problems is that, you know, people are underestimating the value of this law because of its simplicity. And so I would, you know, basically tell you, hey, you know, take a second look. Don't just dismiss it because it sounds simple. The most powerful laws are the simple ones. And uh, so this is called the law of reaping and sowing. And the way it goes is whatever you plant in your mind will manifest out in the world. So, you know, to use an example of an apple tree, right? You've got this little apple seed that you're gonna put in good soil and you're gonna water it and you're gonna give it sun and before you know, you've got this very strong, mighty apple tree. Well, our mind works the same way. So the, uh, the seed is our thoughts, right? And the, um, our mind is the soil. So how, whatever we're, our mind you know, whether it's positive or negative, that's the soil. The water is the actions that we take and the uh, sun is our feelings. So, you know, here's the thing. Energy flows where the action, uh, energy flows where the attention goes. So it, you know, everything I just mentioned for that apple tree, well, it works for us, but it works both positive and negative. 
And so you really have to, you know, you can, it's so easy to go, you know, I, I say that I want these things, I, you know, all the time, but what are you really thinking? It's the difference between hoping for something and expecting something, right? When you expect it, you really deep down in your whole body, you feel it, you know it, and, and, and that's how you can then manifest it and make it happen. Um, and, you know, so, you know, where I want to go with that is I think that um, it's extremely important to go ahead and write your goals down, right? Like, be specific. Grant Cardone, he writes his goals down every single day. He's constantly writing his goals down. Um, there are basically six words that you really need to write down. Six words that you can write down and if you focus on every day can change the course of your life. And that is you become what you think of. So you will become what you think of. And, and that's why it's so important. You know, what are you feeding your mind? Because your thoughts matter. Your thoughts will dictate the course of your life. Um, so, you know, my advice today, we're at the six month mark for 2018. You know, where have your goals been so far? Have you accomplished what you wanted to for this year? Um, again, you know, one thing is, is, is write it down, look at it, and be specific. But if you just focus on this concept that you become what you think of, right? You can actually change the course of your life. That you understand that this, one of the, the fundamental spiritual laws of our universe is that you will become what you think of. And that's, you know, there's constantly, there's a million sayings out there. Go Google it. The, um, how important your thought is, your thoughts, the, um, the strength of your thoughts or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm fumbling over it now, but basically the power of your thought, how, how, how powerful your thoughts are. They can dictate your life. And, um, so that's it. That's, you know, basically you can't think negative. You can't worry about things and get positive results. So if you want a positive change in your life, you have to constantly be feeding your brain positive. Give yourself positive soil so you can have, you can basically have these positive seeds grow in to manifest this positive future that you're going for in your life. And that's it, that's, you know, that's my uh, thought for the day. Um, other than that, I hope everybody has a safe um, and happy 4th of July. Have a great day, everyone. Take care, bye.